What up? Pretty much. Sorry, sorry, that was a little that was a little aggressive, my bad. Matt, sorry. sorry. <laughs> we'll do our, our clap sync for the pain in the ass on three, two, one. That was off. I think wait. Not his <laughs> what are you doing, Jordan? <laughs> I was gonna happen, I was like, I think me and you got it fucking nailed, and he just fucked it. <laughs> we're good. We're no, good. we're good. Yeah, we're good. I was gonna say, I think mine and yours were fucking mint, and then oh, he no, clapped I came in last. Right I came. I came in last on purpose. I was doing it just Jordan. to fuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Matt's gonna listen to this and be like, "Yeah, it would be Jordan's recording." That's all. Like, <laughs> it would be me. <laughs> Alright, welcome everybody to the uh, Valkins Family Podcast. We're here, this is episode 6. Can you guys believe it? Episode 6 already. So crazy, so exciting. Unreal, unreal. So, we're here on episode 6 already. We uh, we got Logan, uh, we got uh, Winja uh, to come in last episode. And uh, now we, uh, I fucked up. You're all good, keep going. I fucked up. Keep going. No, I, wait. Keep going. We'll, we'll fix it later. Keep going. I got the fucking names mixed up in my head. I got it right, but I fucked up in my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Logan uh, was last week. We got yeah, Jordan today. I, I fucking got yeah. the names. I got the names mixed up in my head. I was like, oh, fuck. Did I just say the names backwards? <laughs> Dude, if you called me Logan, I would take it as a compliment because that guy's sexy as fuck. <laughs> he does have a sexy ass voice, but your voice is just is like right, right. Oh God. Right. It's every, no, it's everything but the voice. I always make fun of myself. Everyone's always like, "How do you stay like?" They're always like, "How do you?" I try to stay humble. I said, "Well, I don't try to brag about anything about myself, but I always try to make fun of myself first, and I always feel like my." And I always went to, you know, when like you hear yourself on your, your telephone call. Or, like, you hear yourself, like, played back on something, and you just hear your voice, yep. and your first thing you always say is, ah, oh, my voice? Yeah, yeah. So, I, I, every time I do anything, I'm like, ah, oh, my voice, shame about the voice. <laughs> I think it's just the shock, because you're, the way you hear yourself talk is, like, so different from how it sounds, like, to everybody else. So, like, that shock of hearing what everyone else hearing mm-hmm, is like, mm-hmm. wait, that's not me. Holy crap. Uh, that could be it. But anyways... We got uh, we got Jordan in here. We got Zero. We got uh, yet uh, yet another Valkins family member. So welcome in. Saw, so, dude. Saw. So, so, even though dude. I I almost messed up. I Matt keep that in because that was uh, oh, my dude, that brain. Was great. My brain went <laughs> backward. Like I just my brain just did a complete 180 <laughs> in, in my skull. So yeah, that was that was that. But uh, yeah, for today's episode, we're gonna be sitting, uh, sitting here, chilling out, and uh, vibing with uh, Zero or Jordan, and uh, you know, seeing what his life is all about. Huh, food. We're, we're gonna get <laughs> food. Food. You know, one, you know, quickest way to my heart. <laughs> really <laughs> through my stomach. <laughs> well, that's yeah, that's a good way to do it because that's basically the way to mine it's like bring me yeah 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 oh they're like oh you must love gaming i know food <laughs> okay, so back seat to food <laughs> i will ask a question based off that your final meal what would you choose oh shit oh now we're getting serious now this is gonna get me in my feels man because uh, oh, that's my we fucking, final meal we my hit you with the bangers instantly <laughs> right, so banger instantly in the soul <laughs> yeah this one's gonna oh this is probably oh because there's so many okay so i'm a big fan of pizza and sushi i tell everyone else all the time i could diet if pizza and sushi wasn't put on this earth. So I feel like for my last meal, I would have to have like a large, like just sausage pizza because that's my favorite. And everyone's like, oh, basic. I'm like, but yeah, but I'm a basic ass bitch. Leave me it alone. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> and so, so I'm like, so pizza okay. with some dragon sushi. What is okay. dragon sushi? It's crunchy at the end of the day. That's all I know. It just tastes good. <laughs> I don't eat sushi, I've... so I'm uninitiated in. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I think I'm it's gonna eel. have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to get my aunt to listen to this podcast uh, because <laughs> she loves sushi, and oh, I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna have to say like, like a what dragon is this, roll. What dragon is this roll. dragon sushi like? Is it's it a, any good? Yeah, it's really good. It's dragon roll, and I put like eel with it. So. All right. Well, there you go, my aunt. You can. Yeah. You can try that out. It's it's really good. Shout out to my aunt. There you go. With a Dr. Also, Pepper. As an aside, Jordan, as an aside, Boom. any yes. diet 
that is worth dieting on. You can still enjoy your pizza and sushi in moderation. I will just put that out there. Oh, I do. I do. Okay. So, like, most of the time during the week, I eat, like, chicken mostly. I love chicken. Yeah. So, I eat chicken with, like, pretty much everything. Like, I'm that guy, like, oh, chicken and rice. Oh, chicken and, like, something else. And, like, uh, like if I just want to add a little flavor to it, I'm not a fool to, like, oh, I'm going to put a little hot sauce. Oh, I'll put mustard on top of my chicken. And everyone's like, ugh. And I'm like, eh. And I oh, champ no. everything on my food. Every, anything that I can put on that seems good, I'm just like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I, I'm definitely like that. I'll look around, like, look at my fridge. I'm like, oh, all right, here we go. I don't, I, like, the only time I'll ever use ketchup is, like, if I'm having burgers or something like that. Or no, a hot if, dog. Like, if, if people seen my father cook, they'd be like, what in the fuck? Like, <laughs> but the dude's a master fucking chef. That's one thing I got to give my father, my biological father. He is so fucking insane at cooking. It's not even fit. Oh, I'm kind of jealous. I, I, don't I wish know how I was... he does it. My family, they're a bunch of good cooks. I learned I... how to cook, but I mean, like, I know how to, like, I know the basics to kind of get me through. So, like, yeah, I'm good same. at breakfast. I'm good at breakfast, and I can cook some things here and there. But like, when I see them, like, do like the whole family meals and all this stuff, I just look at them like, I can't do none of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not at that uh, stage in my life yet. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I'm I'm level 31, and I still like look at everything and like, oh gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not high enough level yet, man. Come on. Yeah, no, they're mastered it. I will teach you all how to cook for the masses. <laughs> okay, good. I think because, like, my sister and I always hosted family dinners and everything, so we got really good really fast at, like, making mass quantities of really good food. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, a point where uh, I think I might do uh, an IRL stream cooking stream i want to with my cousin anyways oh, just can i just, yeah. can I just point out how scary an io real stream is i i, I think it's i think it's personally scary because like you know for me i gaming and all that stuff like oh i showed you my bedroom i'm scared to show you the rest of my house <laughs> 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 And that's my biggest thing, too. So everyone's like, oh, do an IO stream. Like, do a cooking stream. It's like, oh, I'm so for it. But that means I have to show you the rest of my apartment. Oh, I'm, and, and I'm, I'm, all I'm all down for an IRL stream. Yeah. It just ain't happening. Yeah, more power to people who, like, house. do it. <laughs> I'm watching people like who walk the streets and stream and all that stuff. I'm like, I'm like, you're so brave for putting a camera in front of you or whatever you use to go walk Seriously, around. Though the amount of fucking cameras, yeah. the amount of videos I've seen of people just grabbing see, people's cameras one and with running the, with the camera plugged into something, then like two phones for one for chat and then one for himself, and I'm just like. How is like? It's definitely are you... a more convoluted setup. To yeah, me. yeah, like oh, what is man. like how like people you're doing go that? Hard. Yeah. People go hard. And I'm like, I feel like, because like, everyone's like, like your setup. I was like, yeah, I've got a setup and the two webcams and all that. But imagine walking out, doing all that stuff. And I'm just like, you're, you're cool. Because like even here in Oklahoma, there was someone doing it at the mall one time. And I'm just like, you're way braver than me. And it's a, it's a little 13 year old <laughs> girl. And I'm like, you're way braver than me. And I can't. <laughs> you're 13. God dang it. All right. Boy, I'm going home. I'm, I can't. I'm, I can't handle this no more. If I was doing anything IRL, it'd be well, like first, it'd be a cook, like cooking. But yeah. I would be, um, first of all, the kitchen. I don't really mind. Like, it's, I'm not gonna tour my whole fucking house. Like, as long as it's just where my where I'm cooking and my gaming area, I don't give a shit. But for the most part, if I'm doing an IRL stream, it's gonna be somewhere's outdoors because I, I could do my outdoors. kitchen. I could honestly do my kitchen. It's just a fact of like. I'm not like saying I'm a big private person, but then like we're for me it's like where do I draw that line of revealing too much of my personal life and still having a personal life? Oh yeah, totally. There's definitely a, a yeah. balance. You know what I mean? So like, there's, like so I'm because I'm still like new to all this. It's still like where do I draw that line where it's too much and then I still get to keep it private? Like because I've already admitted like I live in Oklahoma and all that stuff, but I don't always exactly admit where I, the town of Oklahoma City I'm living in. Yeah. But then yeah, I'm like, is that, is that too much? Yeah. I, or I get. I get what you're saying, and Plus, like you have to worry uh, about like stalkers and shit. Like it happens. Yeah, yeah, honestly. So, and I'm not saying like, oh, I'm a big streamer by any means. Oh, people are just gonna flock over to me. But it's like, also, it's like, where do I draw the line for myself? Like, cause like, dude, you never know that one weirdo that would yeah, fucking the one person that might just that like... would remember or screenshot it. Yeah. Wait, for you, wait for you to explode and then just go. Then they know where you're at. Then you're yeah. Fine. Like the other day, I got a message on my Instagram after I posted a picture of like where my hair is at now for like when I had it short to 
growing it out. And I got a message of someone going, what size is your foot? And I'm like, what? oh, God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, I'll put it. I wouldn't have been able to answer. I would have just looked at that. I just, just looked at it. I, dude, I left it in the, like, because I had to have that request thing on. And I just <laughs> left it there. I just left it there. <laughs> Hold on, I'll send it. Let me screenshot it, and I'll send it to that thing with that little chat that uh, Matt. Made. I was I was just about to say I had a, I had a screenshot of that. Like, oh, I did. <laughs> hands down, for sure. All right, uh, there it is. So if y'all go to that little uh, chat I just put in there on our Discord, like there it all is. Right. All right, well, I the, I gotta... the dude's <laughs> called himself F. <laughs> I gotta. What the fuck? Clearly, dude, someone just, with a foot fetish. Just, just F. Yes, and like, how do you? Know? <laughs> I just looked at. I was like, Fucking "Yo, foot fat twenty four. <laughs> Did you not see that? Yes. <laughs> I just uh, look at it, and I'm just like, "What? Well, like, like?" <laughs> at least what he admitted. It. Like, if you go to his profile, at least he admitted. It. He goes, "F." I, he goes, "I like feet." Sorry, lol. Like, at least you're honest. I mean, fair, but I wouldn't. Know you know what the real fucked up part is? They messaged me, but didn't follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Could at least drop me a follow if you're gonna ask for something like that. For my feet size. <laughs> just kidding. But that was the first time I've like like that's one of the first times I've experienced things like that where I'm just like, oh, oh, oh okay. What do I do? <laughs> oh jeez, that's horrible. Holy it's crap! Funny. I was gonna say okay, twelve twelve minutes. We're good. We're good. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm probably just going rambling on, and y'all have questions and everything. Oh, Ask no, this one's going to go over an hour. I'm, I've already, like, <laughs> I figured yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I mean, if you've been in our meetings, like, I, I think these people miss out on our meetings so much where, like, I'm, like, definitely the loudest one in that call sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm okay with it. I'm always the one just nodding my head and saying, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or Because I'm just taking it all in, but. Yeah. Can we too. be real about how accurate those things, the little miss or the little mister things they did on us? Oh, those yeah, were just. That, those, those were, were that funny. accurate that was as. That was so right. <laughs> yeah. I was literally like, hey, why are you calling me out this hard? <laughs> I mean, they weren't wrong. I, they I weren't do, wrong. No, they weren't I do wrong. rage. I do dance a lot. I do. <laughs> Actually, that is a like, fantastic segue into the question. Um, we'll just we'll get this back on track okay, as okay, much okay. as we can. Um, what has it been like for you being a part of the Dolphins family? Like, what made you say, "Yeah, I want to do this," and uh, and your impressions so far? Oh, so I think into the story a lot where, like, when they first asked me to join, I messaged y'all to actually. Yes. Yep, yep. Because I saw that y'all were part of it, and I messaged mm -hmm. y'all too, because, like, you know, when I first got the message, something actually felt, you know when you get messages sometimes, it's something like when they offer you something, it doesn't feel right? Yeah. This one felt right. Something just called me to it, and I can't tell you what it was, it's just something just told me, li like, listen out, go go out, and, like, just ask. What's, what's the worst thing people can, what's the worst thing you can do? Just ask. Yeah. So when I saw y'all were part of it, I messaged y'all, and y'all said it was great, it was cool. So I was like, all right. I'm going to do it. So finally, I I think it took me like two weeks. Finally, to like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put my, I'm going to jump myself out there, put myself out there and we're going for it. So I sent a message back saying like, Hey, I'm, I'm I think I'm interested. I want to do this. And they were, everyone was real cool. I think I talked to, believe it or not, I think Ethan was the one I was talking to the most or was it Matt? I know Ethan's the one I had to sign off on my thing. That's why I always used to say I'm Ethan's problem because <laughs> <laughs> on the contract, I think it's Ethan's signature on there. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> but yeah. So like, I they talked to me about it, and the one thing I really liked was that my content was still going to be my content. Yeah. They just wanted to also just like, hey, we're going to use it, but it's still yours. It's still your content. Make whatever you want, because you know I've heard some places like they they, they try to like, kind of, not like like almost yeah we'll say it, like limit you a little bit. Like, you micromanage like, your creative yeah, flow. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. And, like, mm -hmm. you know, the thing about creative flow, it goes everywhere. Like, look at art in general. Look at art. Yeah. There's so many things to art. There's culinary art. There's painting. There's, like, movies. There's just all this art. And do you, and I know people limit that, too. But, like, the best stuff is just really random. Like, paintings are the prime example of how you can just put all these colors together and look what a beautiful picture it can make. Yeah. 
So when it came to, yeah, I'm saying yes, and then like I saw the family and everything, and then we all had our calls and everything, it was, to me, it was like, this is probably one of the best decisions when it came to progressing further within streaming and like content creation was like, I think I made a right choice on this one and saying yes and going ahead and stepping in and doing it because when you see everyone, it's it, it's a bunch of different colors into one little family now. So it's it's really cool to see that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Cause for- I- me for me it was uh uh sorry sorry to cut you off for me oh, i was good. like i didn't know what to do because i was the first streamer so i was like uh, uh give me a couple of days but i like i read it right after that and like everything i read i really enjoyed and i was like oh yeah in- instantly yeah. i was like all right i'm in but i told him i wait i made matt wait like two days before telling him yeah okay i'm in so sorry oh, matt. Uh, i made him wait but... i honestly mine was like two weeks I think it really was two weeks because I I think everybody messaged me for first. Uh, that that that. Everybody <laughs> messaged me first when I messaged her, and then I think you messaged me like a week later, Luke. And then like I was like finally like all right, if these people love it, I think I can do it. But no, the yeah. one thing I was gonna say it was like it's cool just to be part of everyone. Where I feel like everyone's um um content creation stuff is not the same. Yeah, I kind of yeah. feel like I feel like we all have our own little like lane, and it. I mean, I don't care if we ever cross it because, like, we all also play the same kind of games. But it's just cool because, like, my content is definitely not the same as like yours, Everdy, and like yours is definitely not the same as like Bite Me's. And it's just it's cool because I'm not gonna lie, like, every your prime example is like Goose Goose Duck. I've always wanted to play Among Us and all that stuff, but then you have Goose Goose Duck. I'm like, oh, this is this game is kind of slap. Look, like, let me yeah. try <laughs> this out instead of like Among Us, you know? Because like Among Us is like, oh, everyone plays Among Us, but like, but, yeah, but have you played Goose Goose Duck? Yeah, that's yeah, true. So, yeah, so like for me, it's like okay, cool. So like you get those different ideas, and yeah, it's just it's it's cool. Like I said, it's a bunch of like different art like, colors put into one place. And ever since joining, it's been fun. It's been great. Um, Matt is really cool in the sense of like he's never stopped. He's always working. Yeah, oh, yeah. and that take take this as a fucking hint, Matt. Slow yeah. down. Slow I tell down. him that too. He comes half, your, other- half your half your bullet points in this fucking audio <laughs> recording and shit is all fucked. Okay. <laughs> But like he's always working, so like when I see him always working, then I'm like, okay, now I kind of kind of. It's not like he like it, 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 that's an inspiration. Like, oh, but you see someone always working, so like, oh, now I need to kind of like try to always work too. No, it, it definitely set the example. Like, yeah, like they're giving it all, so it makes you want to give your all. Yeah. Time. So here lately, like I used to like just like my thing was like, oh, I need to put content out there just to put content out there. I gotta have, I gotta have my name. I gotta have my name. Oh, gotta do this, gotta do this. But now it's like I actually want to put some work into my content. Hence why, like, if you notice, like my Instagram, I kind of took that. It's a, it's not. A, posting as much as i used to it's because i want to put content that i'm making out there that i like and that i'm proud of yeah and if i feel like i'm not if i don't like it or i'm not proud of it now that i look back at some of my older stuff like i did that so fast when i could have done a little bit more to make yeah. it just a, yeah. lead, a little bit better so now i'm like okay i'm gonna sit there and i like now i have like i do a lot of it on my phone but it's just like i pay for now for those little like um like CapCut, I'm using the heck out of CapCut now because I absolutely love it. It's really easy to use and it just has a lot. And I'm paying for a description of it because like, I want all the little tools to help better my content so I'm happier with it and then put it out there. Yeah, exactly. That's something that I need to do se- se- <laughs> severely because yeah. I, I edit everything on my phone too. I got to stay. I used do what to you got to use. I mean, I'm number. honestly considering I've been putting money back so that I can get an iPad so I can quit putting videos on my phone and <laughs> having such memory problems and just put it on my iPad and then edit it like at night when I'm like done streaming or edit it at night on my day off where I just have my iPad out and just. Yeah, I have, I have to like I have to screen record my clips and then <laughs> fucking edit them in the editor and then go back as soon as they're done or whatever. I have to delete it immediately just so I can mm-hmm. do another one because I have no story. Those phones are garbage these days. Yeah, no, I feel that. So, yeah, that's a big hassle, but you know. Yeah, but like joining the family, like Matt's there whenever you have a question. So it's been like it's been it's been great. I love being part of Alchemist. I don't have any plans of like doing anything else right now with other organizations. Like it's just, I'm I'm happy. I'm good. I'm content. I'm happy here. So so that's what. Uh... That's what we can expect uh, from you in the future, is what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. Um, full, full on Valkans. I'm full on Valkans, everything right now. Um, just, I've not considered anything else. Like, you know, I think Logan's prime example where he's joined another org and he said it was an eh. And now that I see other orgs, like, after, and it, 
you see other orgs like because like on Instagram, like I, if you follow if you're not following the Valkans, um Instagram, I don't know what you're doing. Totally <laughs> follow it. But I I follow it, and um, and you see what they put out there. But then when you look at other orgs, like, yeah, we have our you know we have our brand, and we they, come on, like the merch looks fucking dope as shit. Can we just be real about that? The Valkans merch, <clears throat> oh. a barrel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. chef kiss everywhere for that. <laughs> but like, then you look at other orgs, either they're too caught up in their org, in their stuff, yeah, and not showing enough of the content that their creators are putting. Or they're too much about the content creators, and then they're like, oh, here's our one post of like, hey, you can get like a little shirt, and then boom, 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 create, create, create creators, which nothing wrong with that. But Valkins has it split perfectly where like, yo, here's our here's our content, because here's our creators, and yo, hey, look at this merch, like right here. And it's like, it's just a good balance of it all. Like, I think like Matt's doing a real good job of figuring that out and the balance of it all, and just kind of, yeah, it's, it's really a good know. flow. It's a good fucking flow. Yeah, I really like the fact, honestly, that like we're on Twitch and Twitch has the uh, the teams now. Yeah. yeah. So like we're all on the Valkans team for Twitch. So no matter what, you go on Twitch and you type in Valkans, probably one of us is gonna be live. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's pretty dope. Live because I stream all damn day. And then yeah, <laughs> more then dude, else is you impress me with somebody's, that. Somebody's always online. Yeah, because no like what. I work in the mornings. Like yeah, morning to afternoon, and so like I see Luke on stream, and I'm just like, bro. There's moments where I'll I'll go home because I live where I work, so I can literally just walk back to my apartment. Yeah, and I'll turn on my PC and everything just to, just to put my put my name in your stream just for the views and like whatever else. Because I'm like, all right, I gotta go back to work. Here I go. Yeah, yeah. I I see you in there. I always see you in there, and then yeah. I feel bad because. I end up passing out, going to bed, and then you end up streaming after that. And no, I'm like, don't even worry about it. Like, I don't, I, it. It's all cool. It's all love. I, I appreciate it. But like I said, I do it just because like, I see you and I'm like, right, how can I support? Because I can't watch because I'm like in the middle of doing something. So yeah. like, I'll run back home. Like, I got to go to the bathroom, guys. Run back over here. Turn on my PC just to put my name in your chat so that's just there so that you get some more support. Because I like, <laughs> sometimes well, that's I, all I can do. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, that's I really like, appreciate it. Cause that's all I can do, but I'm like, I'm like, I gotta help, I gotta help. <laughs> yeah. Anytime awesome. I see any of you guys live, I'm like, yeah, I gotta, I need to support somehow. Yeah. I, I will say I have so many more channel points in Valken streams and more that people are like in other streams, like, cause I fall like, oh, unless they're like my really close friends, cause like, of course, if y'all have been to my stream, you know, V and Foe, probably like my good friends that I've like we play games together all the time. So mm -hmm. if they're not streaming, I'm in their stream, but I'm probably in more Valken streams than I ever have been. Yeah. Like, like I went to Tay's stream when she did those few streams. I was like, Tay, let's go. <laughs> There's some people in my uh, streams that have like well over two hundred thousand channel points. Oh, I don't even know how many I have in yours. I had a lot, but then I spent like a ridiculous amount of them because I wanted to prove to Matt that like you could hold channel points. Like Matt will never hold channel points. He oh no, his world's as worse. Fast as he gets them. I know. He, <laughs> hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. It's like, yeah, it's like, I'm going to drown here. Let's, let's just calm down. Just fucking save up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Because he does. He spins them off. Like, he he, he's, like, he spins it so fast. He <laughs> saved up once, and it was for a whole bottle for me to chug it. He's like, there you go. <laughs> you got to chug it. I'm like, well, you're a dick. Yeah, Luke, I think you have a redemption, like, just to be a baller. And, like, it was, like, 10,000 channel points or something, and I redeemed it twice. I'm like, Matt. That is how you save channel points. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's funny. I see that and I'm like, yep. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, man. All right. What's another question? What's another question? I feel like I got that one. What's, what do we got? What do we got? <laughs> All right. Um, did I ask the last one? Holy shit. I'm, I'm losing myself. Dude, I don't, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I just remembered there was a, that was a question. Was like, have, uh, was I joined Falcons and we, we got off to this again? I was like, who asked that? I'm just going to sit there and say something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I might have forgot too. I'm not gonna even go lie to you. Lady Verity did. Okay. All yeah. right. So, um, let's see. Um, tell us about. Tell us more about yourself. Uh, how everything came to be. How was life growing up? Uh, any hobbies? Um, like that. What? What? Uh, what? What did you have going back then? Ah, growing up, normal childhood, um, it was me and my mom growing up, so, like, my mom raised me, and, like, literally normal, like, I love, like, it was me and my mom, I couldn't ask for a better mom, uh, I played basketball a lot growing up as a kid, up to my high mm. school career, um, uh, went to college, 
Didn't. Well, how do you say you went to school for drinking? <laughs> um, went to school for uh, drinking. Went to that's what I, that's I went to college. <laughs> went to college. That, I went to college uh, with, with joined show choir, so that's where. Growing up, I was always very into music and dancing. Just because, like, if you're, I, oh, how it was. If you're not living life, just enjoying yourself and just hanging out, vibe. You're not having fun. And I think no. that's why, like, if you're ever in my streams and you're always hearing, like, vibes, I'm always about good vibes, good vibes. Because I feel like life's just so much more fun if you're just doing good vibes and just, like, loving life. And, like, everyone has their favorite. And I always say music's the best thing because everyone has their favorite happy song. Everyone has their favorite sad song. You have those songs for those days you're feeling, and you have those days you're feeling, you listen to a song when you're feeling empowered. Yeah. So, like, I, if you go into my thing or my streams, I have a lot of channel points for music just playing some like just what i call vibes and i'm changing a lot of things in my stream now where i'm changing my channel points to where we're just calling them vibes so if you're sending music and you're sending in vibes hmm. yeah so like we're that. i'm doing that yeah yeah and so i'm doing that um hobbies oh, i've got so many hobbies guys oh my god um <laughs> i'm such the biggest <laughs> i i'm a I, i'm always i always tell people i'm the self-proclaimed biggest nerd i know even though i know like there's other people who like nerd out way more and stuff and do way more than me but like i I'm a big fan of Gundams, so I build the little toy Gundams. That's, That's awesome. Called, it, I, the Gunplus, I have a, a lot of those, and there's some. I even still have some in boxes I need to finish. Um, of course, I'm a gamer. I play so many games. Uh, Destiny 2 has been the main one I play, but only because I've played Destiny from the start mm -hmm. to now. Um, I've played that so much. Um, Pokemon. I think Destiny and Pokemon are like the one things that kept me gaming for so long, especially Pokemon. Growing up, I was collecting pokemon cards like who yeah. was it like, i feel me, like uh me, i was the i was the opposite end of the spectrum i was the Yu-Gi-Oh kid i was the Yu-Gi-Oh kid too i for some I, reason i never picked up on pokemon as much as i did Yu-Gi-Oh for summer i don't know I why. Did too um i played Yu-Gi-Oh. i thought i was the best among my friends even though i probably got my ass kicked more than i won <laughs> uh, <laughs> but i like i loved i collecting things in general. i think i like a lot of people i like to, i like to collect multiple different things because i have like so many things to collect. because i collect pokemon plushies just to have them around i collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards this hobby yeah i collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards just to have Yu-Gi-Oh cards because i've done it for so long um Gun plus now. Mine. From when I was a kid. <laughs> I had a fucking binder full ask me, ask me about full my of rare Pokemon ones. cards because I got rid of all my Pokemon cards, so I have none of those. So there was a collection of Pokemon cards I don't have anymore. Man, I had a binder of like really, really good Ooh. ones, and the, the entire binder's just lost to the sands of time. And oh just, no! Ah, uh, oh, it's so upsetting. Um, I also collect books. I have a, uh, like a little bookshelf of books i like to read every once in a while what kind of books okay yeah i was just about I, to ask actually what kind of books i have so many different kind of books from like mangas to like just regular hardbacks okay. to like uh different book series i have all the harry potters i have all the percy jacksons my favorite author ever is james patterson and he has from in his ranges from crimes to teen books check him out i have a lot of his books like from his murder mystery club to like just he has everything like i said just okay. everything the book i'm reading right now is about native american legends because i'm native american and i just found this book at half price where it says like oh all the native american all the native american language or legends right here i'm like oh i've, I've got to read this <laughs> so like my hobbies are a lot not okay. even put streaming in there because I... I, I do the streaming for love of it and just for the fun of it because to me it, if you're not it, if i could give anyone advice of streaming Definitely start out as for having fun with it because learning a lot of different things that come with streaming and content creation in general is just fun to learn. Yeah, just have fun with it. Yeah, if you definitely take everything too seriously, you're going to ruin yourself. But the best yeah. advice I ever got about it was like, like, what do you like about your content? Like, what are some things you liked? And like, well, when it comes to all this, what do you like? And I told them, all right, if you can imagine it, do it. Yeah. It's your content. If you can yeah. imagine it, do it. Yeah, I'm exactly. Like, if you got the tools, then yeah. And I was like, "Oh my god, you're right." And I'm like, "Yeah, no. If you like music with your stuff, put music with your stuff. Like, match it to the beat. Do this, do that." And I'm like, "Oh my god, you're right. I can do all that." I'm yeah, like, yeah <laughs> if you can imagine it, do it. And I'm like, "Okay." And so, that's like, right. that's, that's been my whole thing with it all. It's just like everything's just a hobby. It's just learning and fun. And I'm not one person that loves learning new things. So like, this is like this is this is it because there's so much, there's so much to it that no one tells you about. Oh yes. Yeah. It's a lot of learning like, as you go. 
Yeah, it definitely is, and that's what everyone's like. Oh, like everyone's always like, "Oh, you're, like my stream failed because of this." Your stream didn't fail. It's not a stream if your sound doesn't cut out. It's not a stream if your video doesn't drop. Like, oh, totally. Like, if there's no tech, like, yeah. you're not doing it right. <laughs> yeah. That's like the if you're not having problems, you're not doing something right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's my life. Like, I had a normal I, life. I, I can't complain about my life growing up. I, I was loved as a child. Like, so there's not, like I was just, I had it. I think it was it was a great childhood. I had a great child, great hobbies. I do so much. I, I love it. That's love it. awesome. Nice. That's awesome. I want to segue into one thing right quick here. Now you said that you're uh, African American, right? Or, yeah, uh, no, I'm Native American. <laughs> Native American, not African American. Jeez, I don't. My gosh. It's okay. Uh, I have my brain. Um, have you watched uh, the new movie Prey? Oh my god, no yes! It is so good, and I will say one thing, just as a hint, and I just learned this, the producers from Oklahoma, and this is the first movie with an all-Native American uh, uh, crew and uh, cast. Yeah, other than the people that play uh, the French. Other than the people who play the French, spoiler, there are French in the movie, but yeah, yes. That's your yes, only spoiler. There's French the only in the movie, you that's get, it. And it is a good movie. I think it fits perfectly within that universe, and it was just good in general. That like Because think... um, you're a uh, parrot native, and yes. there's a lot of native, cu native culture around me so much. Like, mm -hmm. there's, uh, <clears throat> there's a native reserve right next to me, and I... Half my friends are native. I make always make the joke because, like, like we all know what happened here in the United States with Native Americans. Like, I'm going to Canada. They're like, wow. I was like, there's more Native Americans up there, anyways. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm going up there. I'm gonna go hang. <laughs> I'm gonna go hang. I'm gonna hang out with them. Well, you get along with everybody up here because everybody's fucking friendly as fuck. I know, y'all. Canadians are so friendly. Y'all really are. I, I wish people like just understand because, like, I have a, a friend that moved down here from Canada. And he's literally like one of the nicest people. And they're like, "Why is he so nice?" I'm like, "Cause he's from Canada." They're like, "What?" I'm like, "I really think it's just because he's from Canada. They're so <laughs> nice up there." Because like, until, he... until you come here and you hear us speak to one another, and then you're like, "Watching you, get, being in that call with you that one day we played, me, you, and Logan played games, and being in the call where y'all just went off Canadian, and I'm like, you guys, I can't <laughs> keep up. <laughs> I are dumb guys. Y'all gotta slow it down for me." <laughs> The slang started coming out, and I was like, "All right, I gotta, I gotta stop." <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it was fun though. It was good fun. It was, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. All right, I have a segue question. Also, kind of stemming up. off of that, um, not to harp on it, but do you find yourself taking like parts of your heritage and incorporating into your streams more, or do you try to leave that out of it? Er, I mean, I definitely use the tags that let people know I'm Native American. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. you know you you can put tags in your stream and all that stuff. I've I've seen that in your stream, and I was yeah. impressed, actually. I was like, that's yeah. a good tag to have. That's a guy yeah. like that tag. Yeah, so yeah. Well, oh, growing up, my mom was definitely taught me nobody's better than nobody. Everyone exactly. built Damn the sweet. same. Like men, women, all the races. It's all everyone's the same. Yeah. You all bleed red. No one's better than no one. So that's, that's how right. I've always been, and I've always just been like, that's how I feel. So I've always like when I did this, I said I'm definitely gonna be a safe place for everyone, but I'm also not gonna deny who I am and what I am. I am Native American. Yeah. And this is who I am. Yeah, exactly. That's so it's always uh, yeah. and so it's me putting that, hey guys, I am Native American, but this is how I act. Yeah. You know, and like one, you know, and let's be real, because some people be like, oh, he's Native American, he must act this way. He's like, no, I'm Native American. I completely act like this over here. <laughs> and so like when it comes to like putting things in a stream, so my. Stream colors, other than the purple, is the only color I added. The green and blues have definitely been because there's a lot of turquoise in Native American cultures. Yeah. So I chose blue because blue was like one of those colors. Green has, has a lot of reputation of earth and all that stuff. And green was one of my favorite colors growing up. And then purple mm -hmm. was also one of my favorite colors. So I just put those together. I'm like, all right, here we go. This is me. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so that's you, um, where you came out with like that art thing that it was like the dream catcher, which was gorgeous. Yes, yeah, and I still haven't put it out yet. I have it all ready, all on represent, ready to go, but I just haven't dropped it all yet. <laughs> Drop it, my friend. Drop it. Now's the time. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting to see if Matt has that uh, other site that we did just did on the merch now on. Yeah, I know. I've been waiting for him too. I, we have to. Yeah, so him. I'm we'll either I might drop I might drop it here soon. I just been waiting on that because I finally got it all ready. Because uh, I'll tell y'all. I mean, we can let you hear. Whenever the zero merch drops is whenever I get off my ass and finally just click go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there you go. With, <laughs> same with the bite me merch. <laughs> right, but whenever <laughs> I get off my, my ass, ass. 
as soon as I get off my ass, you'll have it. But I have, from what Represent gave out, I have shirts with just a regular 023 logo on it. Then I have some with the Dreamcatcher. And the, the word of the Dreamcatcher is follow your dreams. And if you need the Dreamcatcher, the bad ones will get caught in the web and the good ones will keep them on going right. down to feathers and you just keep on going. That's then right. I have one where it's all pink where one if y'all know her, Scrub Queen. She's a photographer. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. So she took a picture of some, uh, what are those, cherry lilies? Or is that what they're called? Uh, uh, in air, they're in all the animes where there's the pink, uh, the pink cherry tree. Boss. Oh, the cherry, cherry boss. Cherry blossom. <laughs> but she took a picture of that, and I put it on there, and I said, forever, like the, the pink of the cherry blossom, and I put a little message behind that. Like there's some meanings behind this thing. Like there's meanings behind like the dream catcher. And that's what I wanted my first merch. When I sat there and thought about it, I was like, I don't want something a little bit Native American. Yeah. yeah, but I also want some meaning to behind it. But I want it to also be something that everyone knows. Yeah. And then the first thought was like it hit me just like that's like a dream catcher because why not dreams? Everyone has a dream to succeed. Everyone has a dream to do that. You know, and no one's life's perfect. No one's life's perfect. You know, we go through some things and there's some bad things. So let's like take that negative bad flow, let it get caught in the web, and just keep letting that good positive vibes go down to feathers, and you just keep going. So that was like I, the message. I would love the those catcher. positive vibes off of those feathers. Yeah. Like, dripping off those feathers onto mm -hmm. me right now so yeah. that I could get this <clears throat> fucking merch on the go. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, when I finally get off my ass, too, and now that I got my long hair, now I'm like, oh, now I want headbands, and I'm like, oh, I gotta slow down. <laughs> <laughs> But I've been, yeah, I've been happy with uh, all the all the new apparel and everything yeah. that's come out. I'm I'm happy with myself at that point, or at this point right now. I'll I'll get off my ass later on and deal with some. some my problem is sometimes myself. I'm like, if it's not like my other stuff, it's not uh, like when it comes to my streams and all that stuff. I'm like really quick to get those done. But when it comes to like like the stuff for me, like oh the apparel and all this stuff, like I'm so slow. <laughs> Like I'm so like, eh, eh. I can put this off over here. Oh, I want to play yeah. this. Oh, I want to. I want to play this game anyways, real quick. I'll play it just for two oh hours. Oh my god, I'm so nine hours mad. later. I need to go to bed. <laughs> this I'm, is five o'clock so in the morning. Bad at, I'm so bad at that. It's yeah, that's me. It's absolutely horrible. <laughs> I'm so bad at it. <laughs> All right. Can, <laughs> I was, no, go ahead. I was, I was. I said to be like, I need to get this done. I'll just play this game for two hours. Like fifty hours later, I'm like, it's five o'clock in the morning. I gotta go to bed. What was I doing? <laughs> And then you go to bed, and then just yeah. Then I'm like at work. Everything, yeah, everything's screwed after that. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So, we got a uh, we got another question for you. Oh God, what is it? <laughs> How did you get your online name zero? Oh God, okay, this is a good one. Like, uh, I got asked this like all. I got asked this all the time because everyone's like has to know. Okay, so I am a big Lincoln Park fan. Yes. Uh, okay. Probably like I love Lincoln Park. I grew up listening to him, and um, every song, every album, I have it. Listen to it, and like, yeah. So I did a research paper in high school because I didn't get an Xbox until like I was in high junior high or middle school. What's, what's junior high? Yeah, no, junior high to high school age. Yeah. And um, I had a PlayStation, but back then you didn't name your, you, like when you were on a PlayStation 2 and all stuff, you didn't, like you made your profile and you just named it after yourself. You didn't have like a cool name or anything like that. It was just like, oh, here's my profile, save file, let me go back to playing Kingdom Hearts over here. Yeah, you know. Yeah, see, mine's so, been bite me 117 for 20, 20 something years, so. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I did a research paper on Linkin Park, and um, I found out that their band name before Chester joined was called Zero. Oh. X E R O. It was and it was X E R O. Okay. And I don't know why that stuck with me. I was like, I love that. That was just really cool. And because I even had to ask people, like, what is it spelled or how's it pronounced when it's X E R O? And my mom was like, it's zero still. And I'm like, really? She was yeah. They just don't have the Z in front of it. It's like, oh, cool. Even cooler. <clears throat> so like, when I finally got my first Xbox 360, and you had to make your online name. Yeah. I think I had zero. And I had the number 30 after it because that was my basketball number. Okay. And then me and my best friend, one day we were starting to play with all of our other uh, high school friends and all that stuff. We're all in the same high school and everything. We're all playing Halo and the Modern Warfare and all that stuff. Yeah. And we're all like, how do we let people know we're all part of the same group when we play? Our one friend, Derek, had the great idea that we had like school lunch numbers or like identification numbers. Yeah. 
And mine was, t I was the 1,000, or 1023, I was like the 1,023rd student. Yeah. And so, we just all like, okay, we put our lunch numbers at the end of it. So I was 0, 1023. And then my That's friend, cool. yeah, so then my friend, his his thing was, his nickname growing up was Chip Dip, so he was Chip, Chip, uh, Chip Dip 1026. Okay. So if you would see a lot of us from high school, you see like a little nick nickname we, we put ourselves as, and then our lunch number at the end of it. Yeah, and okay. hence where zero ten twenty three <laughs> the name came from, and uh, I wish it was cooler. Like I was like, oh, this is just really just a bunch of friends. Like, hey, we're gonna do this, and that's how it. No, that's how we got it. No, that's, that's awesome. interesting. Yeah. See, like, yeah. Everybody here has these like in depth like you know back to their childhood reasons for their names, and I'm just like, yeah, I just thought it already sounded pretty. Like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but whatever works. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, and that is a good one because, like, well, yours was like, didn't you say like it was like an like an elf or like something like that, or like you something like that? That was my blood of paladin forever. Yes. And wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, yeah, yeah. I'd she be, kicked ass. I'd be doing the same thing. Then. <laughs> yeah. So I stuck with zero, and I, I've just kept it ever since. Like every time anyone's like, "Oh, are you gonna change it?" I'm like, "No, I like zero. I'm gonna I keep like zero. the uh, I like the ten twenty three at the end. Like everyone thought it was my birthday. Every like <laughs> everyone know, thinks uh, I was born October twenty third. A lot of uh, a lot of um, family around here. We used to play Call of Duty: World at War and Modern Warfare Two, and um, it was either our area code would be at the end of our gamer tags or the clan tag. So oh, people, gotcha! People would know who we were, or it was uh, CBM would be uh, at the end of a game ta gamer tag or the clan tag, and CBM yeah. would be where I live. It would be Cape Breton Mafia. I, I don't know. Who, oh, that's I don't, cool. I don't know okay. Came, I don't know who came up with it at the time, but we had stickers and everything. It was hilarious. That's awesome. So it's funny because you say that, like, um, or I'll tell you right now, y'all probably see because the way I act and everything. There's a streamer that I watched. I've watched since 2010 to now. I don't know if y'all heard him. KYR Speedy. I think I might have heard. Actually. Okay, he's he, he used to do the ninja diffuses for Modern Warfare and all that yes, stuff. Yes. Like him yeah. and Van, him and uh, Vanos, they were like the top two like ninja diffusers. It was always between them two, so like if you ever go there, all right, guys, I'm giving my secrets away. Here it is. Most of my content, if like all the things, how I act and everything, is probably like based off him, only because like I've watched this stuff growing up, so that's all I know how to act. <laughs> 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 but like, no, I watch his streams and all stuff, and I just learned recently because I forgot he started out on um, what is that game now? I can't even think of it. Metal Gears. No, not Metal Gear. Um, what's that other one? Oh God, now I'm being a bad gamer. Find us uh, no, was it Metal Gear? No, it is Metal Gears. I was right. I almost yeah, called it Metal Gear Solid, it's, though. It's, it's, it's def, it was, I was going to say, it's definitely Metal Gear fucking Splinter Cell or something like that. Uh, No, no, I'm being a bad gamer. It's another one. Oh, it's something like that, though. Gears of War. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. I said bad gamer. <laughs> I said it first. I owned up to it. That's it. You have to go in the corner of shame. Uh, so I gotta go. Now. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm building a new thing too. Where in my Discord and in all my streams, like where, because you know, sometimes I say some really not, well, we'll say sexual things, and I, I aim it towards men. <laughs> That's uh, okay. First of all, I'm gonna go ahead and defend you, Automat, before you even continue. I I'm say I, I, I will hype up a man all the time because I always will say, man, all right, let's go, King, or I will hit on him like, dude, you're looking really cute today and stuff like that. I say that shit all the time. See, that's awesome. I'll, there's fuck nothing wrong with I'll that. fuck around. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I'll fuck around and do that. But mm -hmm. then there's other times where, and Matt, you, I don't know, Matt, you, you might want to block this out, but I personally, I don't really care. Like, some people come into my stream and they're an automatic asshole to me. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I'll just tell them to suck it. Like, <laughs> get so get the fuck down thing. and just, like, if they're being, like, I'll be nice at first, obviously, but if they keep being rude and, like, a dickhead, that's when I start, you know, start saying some But some you can only bad, take so much. Some bad you, sexual you things. Can only, you can only take so much, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's where like, I'm like, no okay, like, you I'm going to rip sit into there you. Take it. Yeah, no, but, that's that's when I give it right back, and then I ban them, and I'm, yeah. Right. No. So like, what's funny? So KYR Speedy, his his the KYR. Everyone didn't know what that meant. And I just recently learned. So in Gears of War, I guess you have to. There, there was the same between all the Gears of War player. Know your rank. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And so his was KYR Speedy, and everyone. So it meant his thing was just KYR, which was know your rank, which it means if you beat someone, know your rank. Yeah. 
So I didn't know that for a long time. I was like, oh my god, I guess people did have all that stuff like growing up, like the 1023 and lunch numbers for me to like my favorite thing where his group of friends like put know your rank. And I was like, oh man. And like you're saying, like we have like these things like that. So I didn't realize. I guess back then, like your friend groups, and everybody, all that stuff, yeah, <clears throat> all friends definitely had a had big, had... yeah, had their own little thing. Yeah, yeah, so, for sure. That was gonna say because like now in my little group, I think I had like a clan, and I just relearned it because I oh, started playing oh, that one trash of a game called Warzone again. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, it's not a trash of a game. It's it's a fun game, but it's just. Like it's cheaters. a fun game, but holy shit, it's frustrating. It is. Cheating for me is the biggest thing. I don't condone it. Like, I hate cheaters in games. Like, it's, that's so the one thing I. that makes me so mad in games. Because like, I don't rage in games until I find a cheater. And one day, playing Warzone, I got cross-map cross sniped. And I was just, I'm done. I didn't play it until recently. <laughs> and I still have my GNO clan, which was Girls Not Out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Molly Sauer song. I'm not afraid to admit it. <laughs> See, hackers don't bother me in, in Warzone for some reason. I don't know why. It just it makes me laugh. But for some odd reason, I've met up with multiple hackers uh, doing my Forza Horizon 5 streams. And that makes me p pissed off. Who in the fuck wants to hack a racing game? Why are you hacking in a racing game? I'm what not gonna lie. The, I might hack that game point? for some of the uh, the customizable like like the customizable stuff you get in that game. I'm not. They're just speed lie. hacking. They're just speed hacking and flying around and shit. And I'm like, what's the point? Yeah, no. I, see, same there. Like that's how I feel about when it comes to like Warzone and all that. Because so, I, I think most of my games will be like FPS, like first person shooters and things like that. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not gonna lie. I want to tiptoe into more survival games. Like part of me is like, do I want to go back to Ark? No. But I like, uh, suggestion for you. Which one? The forest. Me and V started playing that in our mm -hmm. downtime. Well, there you go. So me, V, and Fo, we're trying to get Fo to play. We're we're gonna just in our downtime. Just we just we just been playing the forest. Yeah, it's a fun game. Sons of the Forest. Sons, Sons of, of the Forest. That's October. how we started. Yeah, that's how we started playing it. Um, I think the one, believe it or not, the one I kind of want to play just to play with some of my friends and everything. Minecraft, just because why not? Dude, Minecraft is fucking amazing. I don't it care is. what anybody says. It really and that, is. that game's aged so well because it's so simple. It, it really is. Well, I, actually, it's so simple. But it's so fucking complex at the mm -hmm. same time. Yeah. It's not even fit. So yeah, no. And I, there's I, and something in there for everybody. It is. And that's why I think that, uh, like a lot of people was like, oh, these games and all this is cool. Like, but like, look at Minecraft. Like, it's just a blocked, a blocked game. It's everyone loves to play. And I'm not saying there's like, it's simple. Like, there's all the coding, but it's just like the game is just like if you want to build, go build. Yeah, you want to mine, go mine. Go mine. Like if you want, like through the, now they get PVP stuff. So like, if you want to PVP, go PVP. Yeah. Like. Do yeah, thing. you do your thing. So, like, just things like that. So, I'm just, like, tiptoeing back over that way a little bit just to see. Because I'm thinking about starting a realm with some of my friends and all that stuff. Like, y'all's more than welcome mm -hmm. to join, too, if y'all play Minecraft. Like, I'm just, I like... Do, I do play I Minecraft. I have, uh... I got my own world, actually. Where oh, do I had, you? Uh, yeah, I got my own world where I had a lot of viewers come in and build their own houses and stuff like that. And we all have our own homes close by and stuff. So yeah, oh, yeah. I, ooh, are, are you like? Let me ask you this, because like I am, I had one instance with like uh, Jackbox games. Okay. Where I had a viewer join, and then they started like putting racist stuff in my stream and all this stuff. Instant ban. Instant yeah. ban, of course. But like, how do you do? Because like, I really question playing with viewers now. Ever since that happened. So like, for I me, play, I play with viewers, or uh, anytime I play with viewers or followers. Um, it's just like, first of all, no party chat ever. No party chat, not allowed. I specifically made that a rule on purpose so that I don't have to listen to a bunch of idiots screaming in a, in a party at each other. Yeah. Um, and two, as soon as some just, yeah, once somebody in my chat is like being stupid or being ignorant towards the others, just instant gone, instant ban. Uh, you can't get attached to people. I will say this for everybody that streams. You can't get attached to somebody. Somebody might be your best friend streaming for three months, and then all of a sudden um, somebody comes in that's kind of new, maybe a week old, and then this person from three months ago is being like seriously bad to this new person. You can't be a favorite. Like You can't have a favorite. You got to be like, dude, settle down, or you're getting out of here. Because... I, yeah, I can understand that. No, yeah, that's totally fair. 
you pick favorites, you're in trouble. Mm-hmm. So you just don't pick favorites, play with as you know, have your community. Yeah. But no. uh, don't have favorites and just be mentally prepared to ban anybody in an instant. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've gotten people where people don't get along with it. Like, <clears throat> they want to be part of the community, but they, they can't get along with each other because the biggest one I've ever had was where two people dated. Mm. Oh, jeez. Just... <laughs> yeah, both wanted to be part I'd of be the like, community. I'd be like, listen, you're both out. I'm sorry. I'm not taking anybody's side. <laughs> what I told him was either y'all be adult, y'all don't have to talk to each other, but if y'all can be adult enough to just respect each other in there, fine. That's or that. Mo- but the or moment one of y'all crossed the line and make fun of the other one, I was like, whoever done it first is getting hit first. Yeah. Yeah. You're out. You're out. They're both like, okay. Granted, they, they were adult enough to respect each other within the chat and everything like that. And then like I told them, I'm never going to put you on a position where y'all have to play a game together if I play games. But y'all at least can be adult enough in the chat to like. Yeah. 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 I don't know, that'd just be, yeah, I'd be, that would be the first thing that I would say, obviously. I'd be like, as long as you two are good and not idiots, then all is yeah. well. Yeah, yep, yep. But, uh, yeah, honestly, I think if one person started to act up, I'd just be like, you know what, I don't even care if the two of you are gone. <laughs> hey, that, that's, that's, that's what it's gotta be, that's, that's what it's gotta be. That's no. just me, I'd be like, no. I, I don't have time for drama <clears throat> whatsoever, I, and I don't want to listen to the person after Only per- talking <laughs> shit about the other person, so I'm just gonna be like, you know what, you're both gone, I don't care. I said this to them, and I was like, and I was just giving them a hard time afterwards, because I was just trying to ease the pressure and all this stuff, and I said, you do not go after him, and you do not tell him he has a small dick. The only person you're allowed to say that has a small dick is me, <laughs> and I can take it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like, so if you're going to attack them, you go after me first. <laughs> but he's probably like, he's screwing my woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. But I will. I'm, but I'm not gonna. I, I'd rather y'all make fun of me than make fun of each other. You know what I'm kind of thinking? Like, I can take yeah. it. Yeah, I yeah, make exactly. fun of myself all the time. <laughs> like that joke right there. I will say. I say that about myself all the time. Where like. Like, well, my, me, my, if you see me around me and my friend Foe talk to each other, like, where are those people like, I'll look at, like, we'll be in a call. I'm like, dude, you're really big today. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll say it right back, and we'll, we always make the joke, like, because he's the one that found us a video where we're like, we're, then we end up going later, like, let's make four inches big again. Yeah. <laughs> like, where, where are those? That's my, there's my, there's my streams right there. We do stuff like that all the time, so. As long oh, as everybody it. gets along and has fun. Thing. Yeah, that, that's the main thing. And yeah. I always tell people like, we have fun over here. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> we have fun over here. So, so Lady of Verity, have you got yourself a, a question? I believe I asked the last one. You did. Um, I do actually. So, um, and I think this will definitely is a good one to wrap up with. So, oh. where do you see yourself in the future? Any ventures you would want to like get into, or projects you want to work on? Like, where do you see yourself? taking all of this craziness yeah oh. outside outside yeah what do you, what do you think so i like what i do for working on stuff so i'm definitely gonna stick with that but like definitely a big thing I like what i love to do content creation being a streamer as like a full-time job yes i think that's everyone would love to have that job but yeah you just play games get to do the things you love and all that stuff because let's yeah. be real you know gaming is a, a passion sometimes that's why you see people who are so passionate and can take the game so seriously and all that stuff because mm-hmm. it's a passion Exactly. And I and I can't say and I'm not someone to knock on someone's yum like I'm not here to knock on anyone's yum but when it comes to like what they love to do or what they like. Yeah. Like, if you love it, play it, do it. And I know there's so many people who want to content create and do this and do that. And I'm like and they're like what love it to be a full time job and like, yeah, that's that's the ultimate goal for me too. But I think people forget about or they take the dream too seriously and forget about the fun, the adventure and the things exactly. that you go through to get to that point because I've had so much Sometimes I forget about the dream because I'm having so much fun along the way. Yeah. Yeah. So I, like I can see that. So like joining Falcons was like, oh, that was a cool like thing to do. And now like I'm enjoying the ride of that. And then like doing like playing these games, I'm enjoying the ride of that. I've made so many cool friends within the community. Like I'm having fun with that. And like, sometimes I forget about that goal of like, oh, I want to do this full time because like I could be at work and just having a really good day. And just like later, I'm like, I can't wait to hop on games and play with friends or go watch this person stream or do this. And it's just like it's just like that. Like, it's just you forget about the journey to 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 the top because mm. sometimes so, i'm like what oh sorry so from, so, from <laughs> so for the future we can expect you to oh i'm still going I'm, yeah i'm going out like i'm stick still like right. projects i want to do is i definitely want to do right now the future what i want to do is like i want to do the minecraft with my friends 
Yeah. Would I like to do it to make it bigger? Yeah. Like, I, I, I think we've all hinted the idea towards Matt of, like, doing a Minecraft server with just Valkins fam. Yeah. And which I think would be fun. I... I definitely think we should do more family oriented things. Like I would love to play games again, but like I'm definitely not one where like like I think you and Logan Luke, y'all you have like think y'all's in a sooner time than me, so it won't be till later for me to join I'm things. On uh, Atlantic time, he's yeah. So right, right now it's about to be one o'clock for me, which is about to be three o'clock for you, correct? Yeah. So see, like yeah, so like it's always time zones is a thing, but like I'm always down to play games with y'all. Like I love doing the things, like when we did the Dead by Daylight thing. Oh my god, you know, like, that, that was, so it was fun because everybody tr just left me there to die. Oh my god, you? I knew you were gonna. Oh, pray you thought I forgot, I didn't you? Pray that. You thought I forgot, <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> left me there to die. I'm like he's never gonna <laughs> let this go. Don't ever. Oh no. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think, you're, so I think you're both fun. remembering wrong. Uh, <laughs> she body blocked you. Remember? No, she I body did. blocked. That's what said. She let me there to die. She just she just allowed <laughs> it to happen. In the corner, she just, and then I just yeah, ran. The, by a tree. <laughs> didn't, even, didn't even leave me anything nice to play with. <laughs> Next to a tree and a rock. Here you go. Right, yeah, here you go. Good, <laughs> good luck, sport. <laughs> I got. Uh, one more thing before we close out. If you couldn't do uh, content creation for some reason, for some uh, for some reason, if you weren't uh, so much driven for content creation, which I I agree, for me I would th be mechanics and heavy mechanics. What would something you would do uh, if content creating wouldn't be your thing? Oh, so believe it or not, I I'm a maintenance. I think I'd be going further into the maintenance field. Okay. Because I. Because I love this so much, I didn't take the big. I, I took a promotion, but I took like a little bit lighter role promotion. I, I offered a bigger promotion, but because it was, it would take so much of my personal time. I didn't take it because I was like, I like what I'm doing right now because like I have these Twitch things going on, this thing going on that I like to do. I yeah. didn't. I told him no. Um, for personal reasons, I'm not going to take this position. I thank y'all for the opportunity for giving it to me. But if I didn't have that, I probably would have took that and just kept would have kept on going. A little bit yeah. higher in the maintenance department. Oh, okay, that's interesting. See, I, yeah, I like that. I like that. I and I've never, uh, I've never asked that to you, Lauren. What, uh, what would you do if it was not content creation, or, uh, or, or would it be strictly IT? I. Uh, or would, or would you say fuck IT and bail? I want to get in trouble for saying this if my bo boss ever hears it, but I actually hate IT. Oh, well, I mean, you don't have to love your job. You can hate your job and still work there. I, I, I like the people I work with. I, I think it's fun that I'm working in the town that I grew up in and, like, all that is cool. But the actual IT side of stuff, not a fan. Um, if I wasn't doing – if part of my job, I have the um, ability and the opportunities to work more AV stuff. Like, I'll do audio and lights for concerts or um, – or like theater stuff anytime the kids do like productions and shows and stuff i get to like yeah. run that stuff i would love to morph my job into more of that side of it like my friend that does that awesome. he okay. works for he works for a venue like one of the venues here in the city yeah. and he absolutely loves that job it's so he much says, fun he, he says he gets to sit in a booth and just mess with lights and like adjust audio and he said it's the best thing he's ever and he's, he comes <laughs> from a, he comes from a dj background so like he he's used to producing and he transferred from that to that just because he enjoys it way more. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how yeah. crazy. You get paid to attend a concert and, like, yeah. you know, have to, he, like, you were And believe it or not, here in the city, like, yeah, and here in the city, he's one of the main people, a lot of, like, a lot of different venues. Like, hey, can you work this concert for us? Or, hey, can you do that? Can you do this? And he'd be like, yeah, yeah, no, I can do it. <laughs> like, yeah, no problem. <laughs> like, one time he said the best day he had was, like, he did one in the morning. It was, like, some kind of, like, event thing where they had, like, a little music and all that stuff. And he said he did that in the morning. And he said, like, after he got done, he's like, three-hour gap where he went to a concert that night and was in there till like, two or three in the morning running a concert, like, doing lights for a concert and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, like, they get oh. paid good money. He's – I'm not going to say like he gets – like, he's, like, extremely played, but I'll say he's good on his – like, he's he's fine. Yeah. yeah, finances. He's good. He gets. Yeah. He can pay his bills, and he's still good enough yeah. to do what he wants to do. <laughs> like he can live so. comfortably. He's yeah. living comfortably. So if, if you're good at I, what you do, like obviously, unless you're like employed if you're good by at, a venue, it's you don't do it for free. Listen to the like when I tell people all the time. This is the story I was like. I have a friend. No shit. He is the boom guy. Like he's yeah. the guy that holds that <laughs> mic above everyone's head. Probably and make killing. He makes a killing because everyone loves how like he's good at it. Yeah. And you're like, you can be good at holding the things. Like, yeah, because some people can't hold it for that long. He can. 
Mm-hmm. Plus, you gotta so keep it at a frame, like just the right height to get the sound. Yeah, like, it's an art. Just all yeah, of that is it, an art. Honestly, I I can see how because where I have uh, tendonitis in both of my shoulders, I wouldn't be able to do that. I mm-hmm. actually, I physically would not be able to do that. Eventually, my tendons in my rotors, my rotary cuffs, would just give out. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, yeah. he does that. Like he, he does that for a living, and he's. Very comfortable too, because like like when he was deciding he wanted to switch, because he he did it for a news uh, channel, so he worked at one of the news stations and all that stuff. And when he was getting ready to leave, the other news station said like, "Hey, we want you here because you're so good at your job." They offered him more money. He's like, "Okay," so he went right over there. And then when he <laughs> left, when he got left, when he was getting ready to leave that one, the, the one in like so I live in OKC, so there's another town, Tulsa. They have their own little thing. They're like, "Hey." Would you want to move over here? We'll pay for your. Um, they pay for him an apartment to live in for like the first six months, so he can get adjusted, and got him to Tulsa and paid him more. Fuck. That's, That's awesome. what I'm saying. Like, if you're good at your job and you work at it, like you can go and do things like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that... like, and, I'm, and I'm like, and, that, and I tell people, and he's the guy that holds that mic above everyone's head. Yeah. <laughs> he's that guy. And. I'm, I'm... <laughs> I've always said, man, if you're good at something, never do it for free. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I tell you, like, he, he's making it. So, like, he lives in Tulsa right now. Just and hanging out, doing, nice. his, doing his thing. So, That's right. So, uh, so Lauren, have we got ourselves anything extra? Um, I don't. I think we hit all of the uh, all the fun points. I think we got all the fun points. Would you like to wrap us up? I will take us away. Um, all right. Thank you again. Jordan, zero ten. Thank you guys for, for joining us. Um, of course, of course. Same thing for the fam. Also, oh, yeah. if you if you would like to tell everyone your socials where they can find you, do a little self promo. You can find me literally on everything. I have a Twitter. I'm barely on. Sorry. I have an Instagram, <laughs> which I'm on all the time. I got a TikTok, which I'm on all the time. And I stream over on Twitch, which I'm on all the time. So it's like this last week because I went home on vacation and then I uh, got lazy this week. But I'm also on YouTube, which I don't do anything on. Sorry, guys. That's coming <laughs> soon. But you can find me on everything as 01023 with an X. So X-E-R-O-1023. There Excellent. you go. And I'm sure uh, links will be in the description as well. Yes. Yeah, I don't have to do that part. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> And make sure you Matt's also like, follow yeah. uh, Bite Me One One Seven and myself, Lady Verity, and of course the Valkins family page. Um, Thank you for all the fun content. Uh, Valkins being the creator force organization situated around gaming, lifestyle, entertainment, all the cool things. Um, if you enjoyed what you heard today, be sure to hit that like, follow, subscribe, whatever the buttons are on your favorite platform, Apple, Spotify. But make sure when you click on it or you use your finger, you do it with. You do it with passion, okay? So passion, when you yes. hit, click that follow, you make sure to turn <laughs> notifications on, too, because you don't want to miss out on anything. Because if you do miss out, like, come on, you're being a loser. Let's just be you're, real about you're, that. You're, <laughs> you're, you're, missing, a, you're, you're missing, missing out, out okay. on the fun, okay? And if rock. you're definitely not following Falcons, because, come on, we have sweet wares, okay, guys? If you, like, we're like the Khajiit. We have good buys, all right? We have great stuff. <laughs> So if you're not following us on anything, oh my god, why are you not doing it? Like, <laughs> like why? It's like, like it's just like everything in life. Why? Like, just do it. it. You heard. You heard. <laughs> it reminds me. I'm about of to shallow up. Uh, too. I stopped myself because I was about to shallow up. Just do it. <laughs> oh I was just. I was just about to say, man, Shia LaBeouf is about to come out if you don't stop. <laughs> I'm, I'm, stop Shia, I'm, I'm, good. Good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> I was going to start screaming, okay? <laughs> oh, did I have you up that much, too? Oh, hell yeah. I'll take that. Good oh, job, King. Man. You did have me hyped up. <laughs> okay. but all right, everybody. Much love. Once again, thank you so much for stopping by episode six of the Falcons Family Podcast. Hopefully, you guys have a fantastic time. And uh, hopefully, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.